enthusiastic am I about this on a scale of 1 to 10? 3.5. Hey friends, it's me, Amy Rebecca. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and to another ordeal that I am putting myself through today. Today we're tackling the bathroom cabinet and may I just say that that thing is like a nemesis that just won't quit. It's like one of those zombie games where every time you think you finally got it down and it's done and it's dead, it keeps rising back up and you have to attack it again. <laughs> Thank God for that. The bathroom cabinet is to my life what zombies are to Resident Evil. It's time to go in with another attack and try and get this situation under control for once and for all. It's a disaster. I think when it comes to something like a bathroom cabinet though, that you're in and out of multiple times a day, the only way to keep a space like that really organized is to just not have so much stuff. When you have a cabinet like this that is just full of so many different products and you have multiple different people in and out reaching for different things all of the time, of course it's gonna become a mess. And I'm working on that and you guys know that if you've been following me, I'm now coming into my third year of my big makeup use up. It's not just makeup, it's all kinds of toiletries. Really working my way through my hoard, decluttering and trying to get the amount of stuff down so that it's no longer like this. Although this is significantly better than it was in 2020. Just saying. The only thing for it now is to just get started. I'm gonna pull everything out, I'm gonna clean out the shelves, I'm gonna see if there's anything I can get rid of, and then I'm gonna organize it all. I hate this so much. There's also just like no space in here. It's not a particularly big bathroom to begin with. And then I have my huge ass tripod. I have my phone tripod here because I wanna upload this to Instagram as well. And I'm just like, where do I fit into this? There's no space for me and I keep knocking things over. Now I know for a fact that this cabinet is not gonna be around for much longer, but if I can just get it into a sense of like organization today, clean it up a little bit, it's not gonna be perfect because it's really old and it's that, what is that fake wood you buy from Ikea? What's that called? You know what I mean though, right? And then when you get out of the shower and you put damp containers in it, it kind of makes the whole surface kind of bubbly and weird. That can't just be me who experiences that. Oh, what I'm trying to say is it's very old. I'm not trying to salvage it here today. It is what it is. We're gonna be getting rid of it soon, but let's make the best we can of what we have right now. Because I genuinely think that having a little bit more organization in here is gonna help me with my big makeup use up just cause I'm gonna be able to see what I have. Ew, I'm really sticky. There was a serious shampoo spillage on one of the shelves. Not fun to deal with. The next thing I'm gonna have to do is sort through all of these products and start organizing them. Not all of these are mine, by the way. I just moved back in with my parents a few months ago. Yeah, the last couple of years have been a wild ride, right? Anyway, I need to get some kind of sense of order going on here. I need to see if there's anything that can be thrown away. I don't know. I'm not doing a big declutter in here today because at this point I've done so many declutters of this cabinet and of my cosmetics collection in general. I don't think there's anything left that I don't like that I'm gonna need to declutter. I think it's just gonna be a case of getting rid of anything that maybe is broken or expired and then the rest of the stuff I'm just gonna have to keep chipping away at using it all up in my big makeup use up <laughs> which is so fun because there's so much stuff anyway that's a problem I created for myself so no use crying about it now I don't even know where to start with this it would be really useful as well if I found my retainer while I was doing this I haven't seen that in a while 
This is a light bulb. Why is this here? I would love for you to have a better view of what's going on, but there is no other space in here that I can put my tripod. Oh, give me strength. I can't cope. What is this? Maybe that's a little bit better. I know the lighting is weird, but what can I say? We're in a bathroom right now. These are not ideal filming conditions. Right now, this just feels like the world's most annoying game of Tetris because it's such small confines. I'm trying to organize everything, but there's not a lot of room to move things about. So I'm just trying to categorize things roughly and then I can do a better kind of organization as I get a little bit more space. Okay, now I'm gonna start figuring out where I'm gonna put things back in the cabinet. The biggest issue we have, which is completely unsurprising when you see how many products we have here, is that we have a lot of the same product. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like for instance, eight full-size shower gels. Yikes. And the annoying thing is, most of them aren't even full. Like this one probably has one shower's left worth of gel in there. This one has maybe three or four. So if we just use them from most empty to least empty, we start to get rid of them quite quickly. So that's what I need to think about when I'm organizing where everything goes. Okay, so I've put all of the like doublers of products in this basket that way whenever someone gets done with one product like shower gel shampoo whatever they can just go and grab the next one from the basket am i strong enough to lift it ah not really oh that doesn't fit that ruins everything why is this shower gel so enormous no one needs that much shower gel especially a family of people who have eight other shower gels I think this would be a really good box to put all of the travel toiletries in. I think travel size toiletries take up a weird space because obviously individually they're very small, but when you have a bunch of them, they just seem to take up so much room. I've put together this little shower container for myself. It's got everything that I need that I take in the shower with me, like my shampoo, my conditioner, my razor, but I've also put in a few little products that are almost done that I keep forgetting to use up. So if every time I shower, I just pull this out, I'll remember to use up all those products and I'll get through them a lot quicker. She's thinking. Believe it or not, this is actually everything going completely according to plan. <laughs> it's chaos but it's organized chaos. Now I just need to get everything back into the cabinet, kind of do a little game of Tetris, and hopefully everything fits right. <sighs> Every time I do this job, I'm left with the same baffling question. Why do we have so many toothbrushes? None of these are mine. So here is the finished product, and I don't know about you, but I feel like there's just so much more space in here now. It just seems like you can actually see what's in here. This is the discard pile. It's not really a decluttering pile as such because it's mostly just empty packaging and just rubbish. I'm gonna be completely honest, this is still so far from perfect. There's still way too much stuff in here for one. And also, it's not exactly aesthetically pleasing, you know? You see these organize with me videos on TikTok and they have the glass jars and everything's matchy-matchy and just very, crisp and clean. This is not that, but I just didn't want to run out and buy a whole bunch of new storage and organization bins. When we have stuff that works for now, it's not ideal, it's not the best, but it'll do the job. And I think you can fall into the trap when you're watching those videos where everything is so perfect and so aesthetically pleasing, where you feel like you have to run out and buy a bunch of stuff to get that same look and feel about your spaces. 
And you absolutely don't. I mean, like I said earlier, this cabinet is going to be going soon. It would be a waste of time and money for me to run out and buy a bunch of new storage solutions that might not fit in the next cabinet that my mom gets. Okay, so that is all from me. I've simply had enough of being in this room now. Thank you for joining me for another organize with me, spring cleaning, kind of declutter, cleaning out my bathroom cabinet type video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. You know you want to. And until next time, remember that you are enough just as you are. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd know.